we're going up the Jeep Road and then we're gonna come down, I think it's called Coyote Wall or Coyote Bluff, something like that. It's a gorgeous day out. It's pretty chilly. We have to climb up a little over a thousand feet, I think uh, 1200 feet. And once you get to the top of all this business, it's all downhill to the parking lot. All right, we made it up to the intersection I wanted to on our little salsa timberjack. You know, it's a hard tail, but it's a pretty good bike. Good job man. Anyway, you can see uh, kind of right over there is Hood River, White Salmon's on this side, so as we're heading down the hill. So in classic GoPro fashion, the battery died at the top of the mountain bike run, so I captured none of the downhill. Anyway, we're leaving the White Salmon and Hood River area and heading out towards the Olympic Peninsula. i never seen it and I'm excited to see it. Let's go. I just stopped at a friend's place to help work on a Sun Raider really quick. A little fix, a little Toyota RV. It's a pretty cool hummingbird in here. Let's check it out. Off we go. We're rolling into Portland. I'm gonna grab some groceries and then we're gonna go hit the Olympic Peninsula. Can't wait. We have ourselves an absolutely lovely Pacific Northwestern day. <laughs> Because a four-wheel camper just got the bullhorns from those guys almost to downtown. You know what's crazy is just the homeless situation in Portland is just it's nuts. It's like the streets are literally full of tents. Hey, check out this Overland rig. That's sweet. All right, later Portland, we're out of here. We're heading into the woods for Thanksgiving. I can't wait. I don't really know what we're gonna find for camping out here, but uh, I'm sure we'll find something. We're in this little forest service road out in the Tillamook wilderness. Beautiful trees out. I can't wait to get out and hike around, check this stuff out. Sweet. Check this camping spot out. So I just drove maybe 10 miles out this dirt road. And this is our camp tonight. Not too bad, huh? I didn't have set plans and I was gonna go potentially hang out with some friends for Thanksgiving, but uh, I don't know, I just felt like I wanted some alone time and wanted some time to reflect on the last three or four months of this road trip as I'm on my way back to Alaska right now. And uh, I just thought, what better place than the Olympic Peninsula, which I've never been, and it just seemed like a really, really magical, peaceful place to check out, so here we are. So tomorrow I'm gonna to be cooking a solo Thanksgiving meal and you guys will be invited. How about that? But for now, it's kind of chilly, so I'm gonna get the jacket on, get the heater going and uh, enjoy my time outside before it's dark. Winter's definitely coming and it's actually getting cold out. So I need to open up my rocket box and get my winter stuff that's been packed up there for the entire road trip for the drive home. So let's grab that stuff out. The sketchy part is this rocket box, the locking mechanism has been broken the entire time. So anytime I open this, there's a chance that it may never close back, which is uh, pretty shady. It usually takes about 30 minutes to get it shut back. We're at moment of truth. Yes. <laughs> Kind of pour rain, the camera's getting pretty wet right now, but what's in my bag, yes. That's the beauty of having the back porch. I can stand and sit out of the rain. There's my winter jacket. We're going all around right now. These are one of the better winter jackets I've ever owned. The Dos Parka Patagonia. I don't know if they still make them or not. I don't need them just yet, but I've got my mucklucks for when I get to Alaska. Um, Steger mucklucks makes these, are freaking awesome. Best winter shoe I've ever owned. Now it can stay warm. Starting to rain. Gotta get you out of the rain. Look at all this effort that goes into filming. 
Crazy, huh? Oh, the rain. Suppose I'm in the rainforest, so I can't complain. Oh. Love opening the door to surprises that fill. Oh. So this camper actually stays together pretty well. If you guys look back at my videos, you'll see all the crazy four-wheel drive trails that I did. And I basically have latches on everything in here to keep it from moving around. We've got that little latch right there to keep the drawer from coming all the way out. Porta potty has a little bungee right there, so that holds it in place. The slide out bed has a little latch right there that pops out that holds that in place. And then my fridge freezer has a little rubber strap right there that just holds it in place. Recently, I've been wanting to take my YouTube into a whole nother level for you guys. So I made some investments and they weren't cheap, but like any investment, it's uh, maybe it's a gamble, maybe it's not. Either way, the quality of the videos you guys are going to be watching should be improving significantly because I just picked myself up my dream lens or one of my dream lenses. This is the Sony 100 to 400 G Master lens. This thing is a beast. It's got a crazy amount of telescoping reach. So here's my leg, for instance. So it's literally like all the way to my knee almost. So you guys are gonna start seeing some really cool shots come from this lens. Crystal clear, super awesome quality. And the other really big investment that I'm really excited about and I've done a whole bunch of research is this thing right here. Oh yeah. It's the Scotty O2 drone. So I've always had Mavic drones. The Scotty O2 Plus drone here has the best autonomous tracking features of all the drones. It, this thing will stick on you and stay on you and automatically dodge trees and limbs and all that stuff. And I got all the good stuff for it. So I've got like a beacon, that way it can follow me, put that in my pocket or give it to a friend, put it in their pocket. And I got a controller so I can still get the cinematic shots that I wanna get with it. Comes with a whole bunch of extra batteries. Yeah, I'm, I'm stoked on it. The other big thing is there's no obstacle avoidance whatsoever in the Mavic Mini series. And this thing avoids obstacles like a madman. It's got cameras on top and cameras on the bottom. Anyway, I'm stoked. Guys hear the rain? That's cool, I love listening to rain in this metal roof up there. So my bandmate Johnny Lungs had a Riptide. I just really like how it played. It sounded really good because it's got that port on top so you can hear yourself really easy. And the pickup in the thing, it just screams. It just, it sounds good when you plug it in. This is a little bit beat up, obviously. Been through the ringer. Brought it down to Fiji with me back in 2014 and the locals carved that in the back. Johnny tore half the front of it off. He used to let him borrow it every single show because his ukuleles never worked. So this became basically his for like four or five years until he finally got his own. It's still fun to play. Actually, back in the day, old Johnny Lungs and I, we had a show at a bar in Anchorage. It's back when I had my Toyota camper, a Toyota RV that I lived in for like six odd years. He was too wasted to uh, do anything, so I told him he could spend the night at the camper. And uh, I had like a couch down low and I had my bed up high. So anyway, I woke up that next morning for work. He woke up too and had no idea where he was in Anchorage. He was just in some parking lot where he woke up and there's this crazy snowstorm. Half the city shut down. Johnny was trying to get a people mover just to leave and the people mover like the bus wasn't even running. So uh, he just sat in my camper all day and wrote this song. Stop it there. So there is a little bit of a dilemma. It's pouring rain, but I bought filet mignon, so I need to get the grill going. Never tried this, but I set the grill up on the porch. A little bit tight clearance wise. I know the flames will come out of the back a little bit, so I'll keep my eye on it, but it's going, so I think that's gonna work. 
We're gonna grill out of the rain. We just get them all seasoned up with some Home Depot seasoning. It's gonna be delicious. Yeah. Two delicious cuts of filet mignon. Costco is actually a really awesome place to get filet mignon. It's super good there. Super tasty. Anyway, let's let that do its thing. Two more of them for another night. Love it. I tell you one thing, if this rain keeps up, we're gonna be going whitewater kayaking in the next couple days. So hopefully it keeps at it for a little bit. You can feel the winter coming. It's getting chilly. It's kind of crazy, but I just realized it's actually coming up on one of my best friends, uh, Daisy laid to rest. Miss you, buddy. Actually happened not too far from here, the Robe Canyon. Anyhow, you guys have heard me say it a thousand times, but one life, so. Gonna make what you can of it. And he sure did. Miss you, buddy. Flipping time. Camper's not on fire yet. It smells delicious on the porch. You know what's funny is I just realized that probably not too many people with campers say they grilled on their porch. <laughs> it's kind of cool. I love it. I love it. Blame in your own time. Let's go get them. The frosty bottle. Look at those. Mm. Ooh, hot. Ah, hot. Hot, 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 hot. Mm. Mm -hmm. Those look fantastic. Let's eat. Final delicious filet mignon shot. And to feel better about just eating only meat, I need a couple kiwis afterwards. All right, I couldn't even finish my steak. There's so much steak. But now we're going to eat a. Never had a yellow kiwi. You guys ever had one of those? Interesting. Look at that big old yummy piece of fruit. Mmm. Mm-hmm. It's really sweet tasting. It's very different than normal kiwi, actually. The other reason I wanted to go kind of spend some time by myself is because I've got a lot of editing to catch up on. So uh, this is a perfect way to do it. Being out in the woods by myself where there's no cell phone reception or any of that kind of stuff. So. Anyhow, continue on with it here. My video, I just finished editing the video and it's processing. And I have not been playing my guitar enough on this road trip, so I'm gonna bust it out. I'm gonna play a song by one of my favorite bands, The Builders and The Butchers. Uh, the song's called Coal Miners Fall. Those guys are awesome, read some really good songs. And uh, I'm just gonna play one verse of it. Guys go check them out though, the builders and the butchers. Actually, you know what? I'm wearing their t-shirt right there. About that. Check them out. Fresh 
<laughs> Alright guys, I am calling it a night. I will see you in the morning.